I'm Sven. Welcome to Larry. Come in. Today we'll be presenting you the new Divinity game. It's called uh, Divinity Original Sin. Uh, for us, it's very much a back to the roots game. Uh, it's a top down RPG and uh, it takes place just before uh, the first Divine Divinity the game has started uh, the entire series. Alright, so we'll start the presentation. I'll introduce you to David. He's uh, the producer for Divinity Original Sin. Hi. And uh, we'll be showing you uh, the game together because this is going to be the first Divinity that's in the multiplayer. So you can take a seat. In the game you control a party which initially consists of two protagonists. The first being a, a woman that's been recently resurrected. The second one is a condemned warrior who's been suffering uh, years of agony and torture. And uh, what's special about them is that they're uh, able uh, to resist and control a strange new form of magic which is being used by the forces of chaos against the inhabitants of uh, Rivella. We're joined in multiplayer and in single player you control both these characters. We're making the world highly interactable, which means that uh, everything that's not too heavy or that's not nailed to the ground, you can move it around, you can use it, you can pick it up, you can destroy it. As an example, you got this mushroom, uh, which I can pick up, and then I can apply it to my sword, and my sword now has a couple of poisonous charges, which uh, might be an interesting uh, thing to do uh, just as you enter combat. The game has a reputation and attitude system, so you have to be careful with whose property you mess around with. You can't just go around and open and move and pick up stuff that belongs to someone, because that has consequences. Well, of course, if they can't see you, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Our ambition is to recreate that tabletop RPG feeling in which the entire party is involved in decision making. And that's why we introduced this uh, cooperative uh, dialogue system. So for instance here we're in a dialogue with a skeleton bomber and he's pleading for his life. Uh, normally we kill everything that is undead, but yeah, I actually take pity on him, so I'm going to choose to let him walk free. But I don't agree with that, I think he should be destroyed. And so the game is then going to do a stop roll, and in this case David actually wins the day and he gets to make whatever decision he wants. The special magic, which we call source magic, uh, allows us to manipulate the elements. For instance, I can make it rain. And everything that is wet, I can then turn into ice. The problem with ice is that it's very slippery, and as you can see, uh, that can cause some pain. Combat in Original Sin is uh, turn-based, and uh, here we're dealing uh, with a situation in which two undead pyromaniacs are assaulting me with fireballs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to summon an ice elemental in the hope that he's going to act as a sponge for me. And I'm going to fire an explosive arrow at one of them. And apparently that doesn't really do a lot of damage and they shot the ice elemental already. So they seem to be very resistant to fire, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a fireball but I'm going to aim it actually at the ice. And uh, that's going to turn it into water. And then I can use the water to uh, fire an electricity bolt on it. And then we hit two birds with one stone because they're both electrified. So that should give you an idea uh, of what type of game Divinity Original Sin is going to be. It's a turn-based, top-down uh, RPG uh, with multiplayer, heavily inspired by the first Divinity, uh, with a large world with many secrets and uh, lots of things to discover. So yeah, uh, the idea is also that we're going to ship uh, the editor together with the game. And it's actually based on the, the technology that we've been using to make our RPGs over the last couple of years. Uh, players will be able to make their own adventures, uh, they will be able to share them online, uh, they will be able to play with their friends, and I hope uh, that there's going to be a large community of new stories uh, arising from that. Uh, so voila, yeah, I think uh, that's the end of our presentation. I uh, should give you a good idea about what the game is. So, do you have any questions?